Welcome to the video, Parramatta River. Tonight, I can confirm once again, me, myself and I, and you, yeah, going for a fish tonight. Check it out. This is where we're going to be fishing, just around this area here. And I can doubly confirm it's a cold night. It is freezing. But if that wind just keeps down, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm going to start up that end over there. So I'm going to show you what we're going to use first up to get the session started. Mate, check it out. Look at that rat there. It's huge. I'm running after it. Is that a rat? What is that? Is that a rat or a possum? Look at that. You reckon he's aggressive? Okay, let's lean our rod up against this power box electricity because tonight's session is going to be dynamite once we get out our lures of course i've got a few options tonight but i'm going to start off with a fried and true staple just once i grab it just so you guys know what i'm going to use the ever reliable slim swims in blood worm and that's what it looks like little paddle tail nice color i like brown very safe very natural Let's go get that pink box out, crack that open, and another staple, 1 16th ounce size 2. It's just going to give me just enough finesse to get the job done through the magic of YouTube. There we are, all rigged up, nice and supple, ready to rock and roll. Alright, I'm excited. This is all untouched waters, at least to me. I've got all this water to explore, take my time. Gonna see if we come up with any sort of fish. This is the exciting part because you never know what's gonna happen. Could be a complete donut, complete failure, get nothing, no bites, go home with the tail between your legs, or this could be the greatest session in the world. Now, I don't wanna jinx it. We ain't jinxing anything tonight. Start working this lure really slowly, keep in contact with the bottom. I think that would be the strategy first. We also got scent with us if we need that, because as they say, slow and steady, wins the race got a little bit of a footbridge here wonder if there's a fish in close no bite there let's just cast that wide like i said tonight i'm on the foot we're moving around there's no point just sticking to one area honestly we'll try this little dark spot on the side here just gonna turn off my head torch in a second. We'll cast it out this way. We'll just keep moving around. Gotta make everything go at slow motion. This is one of my favorite lures to use at night, if you haven't noticed. The Z-Man Slim Swims in Bloodworm. But actually, it could just be the fact that I use it so often that I catch fish, because you can't catch fish on a lure that you don't use. I think at night, one big difference versus daytime fishing it's quite similar they can still see your lures of course even if you don't think so they can still sense it everything that you're doing still works so even if you do little twitches they can still pick up the vibrations they'll still hit your lure but you must slow everything down you know what it seems pretty quiet actually i must say there's been a few little nibbles but besides from that it's been quite oh was that a bit of a take there it's been quiet if I must say so myself here it's I must admit I like to be a li little bit more lively but sometimes that's just wow maybe I spoke too soon because that lure is not supposed to look like that that's a sign of a bite fellas there we go oh yes on something here What's it doing? It's not really fighting, is it? What is it? Wow! Wow, guys, I don't know what's going on here. We've got a big hookup just now in the dark here. I think it could be a tailor. I wonder what it is. I had a quick glimpse at it. I don't think I've got 
the heaviest of drags, but <sighs> probably just play it smart, just tire it out. A lot of snags here in this corner. I really should move and follow this fish. My camera's here. Bit of a risk there, just trying to adjust the camera. Come on, I want this fish. Whatever it is, I'm getting nervous here. Oh, it's on the top. Oh. It just came to the top. It could be a, I don't know what it is. It could be a tailor maybe. It's not doing very much. No head shakes. Brim would have not done this. It's not a flatty. Oh my gosh, don't get me, don't run. It's right against the edge here. There it is, it's nearly done. My hands are like frozen like a brick. I don't really know. I just don't really know what sort of pressure I can put on it. What's that? Look at that. Was that a whiting? It's a mullet. It's got to be a mullet. There's no way. What sort of whiting fights this hard? You know what? We'll bring the camera in. I risk losing it, but now that I've seen it, no wonder. Oh, please give me this fish. Please give me this. I want this. I want this fish. See if I can walk him. Here we go. There's a bull shark bait, and I'm just right next to the edge with my live bait here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get munched if I don't hurry up. Here we go. Here we go. All right, come on, let's got him. Yes. Woo! Look at that. Wow, that's a monster. That's a monster. Check, check this out. That's big, mate. Check that out. Look at the size of him. He's huge. Oh, what a mullet. Man, this will catch a big shark. Woo. Oh, I can't believe I knew it was a good time to get out here. Look at that. Look at his face. Look at his beady eyes. Let's give it a give it a sniff test. Oh, pungent. Smells like turds mixed with smelly socks. <laughs> Look at that hookup right there. The little Z-Man on the top of his head. Let's get that lure out here. I haven't caught one of these uh, for quite a while, actually. Ah, oh, crack. Boop. There it is. There's that little lure. Let's go grab this. This is the fattest fish I've caught in a while too. Look at that. It's like a cobia. Except that it's not. It's a mullet. Thank you very much for the amazing fight. What a fish. What a fish that one was. Look at that monster. Just cruising. He's alright. You know, mullet. They're just as hardy as you can, uh, as you can find for, for fish at least. Alright, you know what? We're going to move spots tried this whole section here for that one nice mullet onto greener pastures so what do you guys reckon we'll just keep walking up this way there we go the little hit there oh I struck I struck that one that was such a good tap too that was a brim just got to keep moving up up and up and up onto fresh ground cast there let's put on some scent Starting to get a few bites now. They're latching on, that's what's happening. They're latching on. Gotta sink that hook in. So let's encourage them. Yep, got him. Yes, felt that hit there. Still on the head torch. Let's get, get, get this coming in. What do you reckon? It's not a flatty, I'll tell you that much. Ladies and gents, look at my rod. Can you tell from the tail beats? Little Brembo. Little Brembo right here. How's that? Woo! There we go. Look at that. Little Parramatta, little Parramatta Brimmy. He won't even straighten for me, for the camera here. <laughs> we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Especially right after that mullet. It can't be all big. Look at that crack here. Bear with me. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. And pop goes the fish back into the Parramatta River. Got the touch tonight. Ladies and gents, whatever it is, can't complain. Let's move, but before I do, 
I want to quickly talk about this head torch that I've been using lately. I've used it for several sessions. Full disclosure, I got sent in this from Science Sky. All I promised them for that was that I mentioned that I've been using this product. This is the HS3R model, the rechargeable lightweight head torch. And also that if you guys are interested in more information, I've provided a link in the description below. But if there's anything that I do like, because it's lightweight, I get to wear around my neck and turn it on. Let's get back to fishing. Yes, got one right there. Oh, head shakes. Look at that. Wow, look at those head shakes. It's throwing my rod around. Look at that. That's insane. What's going on? What do you guys reckon? It's not a flathead, is it? What is it? It is a flathead. Look at the way it's hooked. Three, two, one. Yeah. Wow. That's some insane head shake. You should have seen the rod get thrown left and right. Yeah, we're not doing too bad tonight on the variety stakes. Look at that, a different type of fish once again. Well, that spot dusky. We'll throw our prize back, back into the para. With a little less plastic.